Welcome back everybody, you are watching the latest on the channel and we are back with more Spirit Predestination, this time we are on floor 2. Now this level is a step up from floor 1, like I said in the last level, but like, we've got a lot of enemies coming our way and your best bet is to just, just not rush in there, just try and get them all in one spot. So now that that's all done with, we'll... Oh, I just saw the guard shoot me. Where is he? Oh, there you are. So this level has these hallways branching out from like a, a big open area. Yeah, there's there's a secret there. Go into this room, clear all the enemies. But this level introduces a new concept where like it's most of it's just one big room. Oh yeah, there's another secret there. Most of it is just one big room with like an, some extra hallways branching out of it. So in that secret there's some health, and I think there should be a secret on here. Wait, did the press not? There we go. We got it. So in here we have a guard and some treasure chests. Let's see what he's saying. Oh, I killed that guy already. So now we go down this hallway, we'll find some more enemies. Well, you can actually get that guy from behind. We can just get a few more guys here. And we'll, we should be waiting on a guy from inside there. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna push that secret. Yeah, there's, there's a secret on each of those three islands. So the third island is there. Each of them takes you to a cross. And they're, they're not marked, so they might be pretty easy to miss. So in here we have that SS. So we'll go down this corridor and we'll find that SS. Back there was a locked door that requires a silver key will take us to an exit. And now, in here, you gotta be careful because it's pretty open and there's four SS. Like a lot of the enemies in this level, they won't be alerted unless they actually see you. So then here we have a corridor of two guards. Now this is where you really have to be careful. Because enemies can see you from far away. And especially since it's SS, like they can they can deal the most damage out of any Wolfenstein enemy. I know like I know it's probably like the mutants are probably gonna be the deadliest, but the SS are uh, they can take more health from long range. So, so be careful around this corner, there's guys on both sides, as there are in quite a few areas in this level. So all those guys are deaf. They won't they won't be alert unless they see you and there's another secret there with two crowns. Oh no, not crowns, crosses. So around here we have four shoe staff, so I'm really gonna have to be careful. Yeah, I'm really, I think I'm really messed up on ammo. I'm going to have to go back to that to that secret near the beginning. Okay, it's 38 ammo, 81 health. No, nah, there's nothing in here. So I think we should be fine with ammo. There's no guarantee with this game. Like, I'm not afraid to put the player in one of the darkest and most challenging situations. So around here we've got even more shoot stuff and some more guards. So we're gonna make a detour here into this island. So you kill the guys in this room, you alert the guys in this other room here. Be careful because most most of them are excess. So in here we have an alcove which will lead us to a secret with two ammo clips and two crowns. Okay, so now we will go into this room. Now this, this is fun because you can actually get the SS from behind and then you can, then you kill these two guys and two ammo crates, that's a good 50 bullets for a plant. So now we're not going to continue because I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up with guys on both sides of me. You'll see what I mean when we actually get to another door. But that's not the door I'm talking about. Meanwhile, there's a secret on next to the forbidden verboten sign, or verboten means forbidden in English. Now, this is the door I was about to come out of. You see, when I when I fire in that room, I alert a lot of SS, and if I came out of here, I would have both the guys on me, and while I'm trying to fire at them, I would have these guys sneaking up from behind me, and that would really hurt since they're SS, 
and especially since this is a maze area and it's very difficult to predict what will happen in a maze area. So I'm gonna lure this guy out, try not to alert any more guys. So I know that's a way to save ammo in this level, as this level is very limited on ammo. Meanwhile, I have an ambush of SS. I probably shouldn't have taken that medikit. Like, if I get in trouble, that's probably gonna cost me. So we, so we alert the SS in these... In th some of these other rooms. But not in front of that door. In this room. So, let's head to this door. Now, this room you have to be careful, because... This is a wide open area with a lot of SS. And there's some tables which can really block you. Which can really make it hard for the player to maneuver. So that was a locked door there. We're not going to go through that because... Same thing as... Same reason as why I didn't come out of this door initially. Because I would be placing them in the middle of a, a decent pack of enemies. We can come down here and get them from one side. Like, you don't want to have to deal with enemies on both sides, because then you would have, you'd have to be pretty patient with these guys. And I'm... I'm not really patient. I don't really like to take time. Take my time, as you may or may not already know. So now we come down this hallway, get rid of that guy. And when you come to a door... We are taken into this... Hallway with a few outcomes. Now, this is where... You, another area where you have to be careful, because... Like, it's hard to tell where it's going to turn or which hallway leads to a dead end. And it's a it's a pretty weird shaped hallway. So you... It's very easy for the SS to get stuck in an alcove and shoot at you from behind. So, and if you don't know where the alcoves are and where the actual hallways are, that could, that could put you in a mess big time. And while we're in this area, if you're missing, if, if you're missing a treasure, and oh wow, that's that's ending pretty badly. Like, as I was about to say, if you're if you end up missing a treasure, there's a good chance that you miss something in here. So please stick to one wall, cover. Ev please stick to one wall, and you will cover everything. Like that's that's probably the best strategy in pretty much any maze area. So now we are going to go back and get some health this time. Oh, unfortunately, there's no... There's no ammo. Oh, wow. That guy. I didn't even see him. Like, he could... He could have taken me by surprise. See, this is what I mean by... Enemies can easily take you by surprise. So now we're going to this door. We are in another maze-like area. Like... Like, if you don't, if you don't know this area well, I advise taking it slow. Lucky for me, I'm the creator, so I can memorize it a bit easier. Oh wow, he almost got me that time. Lucky for me, I'm the creator, so it, it doesn't take as much memorization for me. For me to produce a smooth walk for, like... So now we're going through this corridor. Be careful of these guys. Now that's the a shortcut door. Like you know just that when we got the gold key, so in here is an SS, a one up, another SS and a silver key. So now we can actually exit. Which is in which is right at the beginning in this corridor right here. So now we're in Another hallway-like area. So there's a secret there. Be careful of the SS around the corner. And be sure to pick up all those treasures as well. We have another SS down here. And we should have another SS coming for us. And we can take care of that, that SS. And we are at the exit. But we have to go in that one secret that, that I skipped. And the reason I skipped it is because I wanted to... I want to enter the next level with, with as much health as I can. That's what I like to do in levels. So, we can exit. If you got 100% of everything before exiting, your score should be 427,200. 
in which the 30,000 point bonus will bump you up to 457,200. This level can be challenging at times, like as you just saw in the main area you've got guards and SS around almost every corner. Most of the time you can't even take 2 or 3 steps without a guy seeing you. It's just that deadly. And this is a concept that is used in half of the levels in this game. Like wait until the mutants come in. Like, Can you imagine mutants in levels like this? This level is already dangerous enough as it is. And to make matters worse, you are very, very tight on health and ammo. Like all you have is those four medikits until you get to that one room in the brown area with all the SS coming out of the other rooms. Like that's why you have to tread this level with as much caution as possible. And it's like it's almost like you have to find them or else you're stuffed. And I know I didn't do this in this level but what would really help you with ammo is if you try and use the knife in this level. Like it's actually pretty easy to do. Like for example, that one corridor that connects the that that small area where the secret with the medikits is, like it connects that area to like near the entrance to to where you go around the island. If you know what I mean. Like there's three guards in that hallway, like and you can actually get them from behind. But if you do want to use the knife, don't try don't try and alert multiple guys at once. Try and get them in a confined area so that you can stab them easily so that they they can't come from another space. And also just be careful the big groups of enemies like that that first wave of enemies at the beginning and at the gold key room for the SS. So with that We'll move on to floor 3. Have a nice day everyone, and I'll see you then.